Throughout a Major League Baseball season, there's usually three or four rebuilding teams at the bottom of the pack that become punching bags for the rest of the league. However, this isn't often the case in Nippon Professional Baseball because most franchises at least make an effort to compete every year. But in 2003, the Fukuoka Daiei Hawks and Oryx Blue Wave looked as though they came from different planets. The record for most runs scored in a single game in Japanese professional baseball is 32 runs by Hankyu in 1940, but that was before the MPB even formed. The modern era record is 29. That was accomplished in 2003 by the Fukuoka Daiei Hawks against the Oryx Blue Wave on August 1st. But that wasn't all. The Hawks scored 26 runs just 5 days earlier and another 15 the day before that. All these games were against Oryx. They were the 16th, 17th, and 18th head-to-head -head meetings between the two teams that year. The Hawks scored 70 runs between just 3 games against the Blue Wave for an average of 23.3 runs a game, outscoring their outclassed Pacific League opponents 70-9. It isn't all that surprising considering the 2003 Hawks are arguably the best offense of all time, whereas the Blue Wave had one of the weakest pitching staffs in modern history, finishing the season with a 5.96 team ERA. On July 26th, Daye put up 15 runs on 21 hits. On July 27th, Daye put up 26 runs on a record setting 32 hits. And on August 1st, Daiei put up 29 runs on 31 hits, and Oryx didn't help their own cause either as they committed 4 errors that game. Former Major Leaguer Max Suzuki took the brunt of this damage, as he started 2 of the 3 games, giving up 8 runs on 10 hits in 3 and a third innings on the 26th, which spiked his ERA to 6.20, then proceeding to give up 4 hits and 3 walks without recording a single out on August 1st as all seven came around to score to boost his ERA to 7.38. He finished that season with a 7.06 ERA in 108 innings, which was still better than the following season where his ERA was 8.57 in 48 innings. The July 27th game was actually the most impressive in terms of the Hawks batting though, because they started the game with a record setting 10 consecutive hits and put up 11 runs right out the gates. Kenji Jojima went 6 for 7 with 7 RBIs with 2 homers and a double. On August 1st, the Hawks scored another 7 runs in the first, then 8 runs in each of the next 2 innings, giving them an unbelievable 23 to nothing lead after the top half of the third. The entire starting order got at least 2 hits and Julio Zuleta was the best of them all, as he went 5 for 6 with 7 RBIs and 3 home runs. The Hawks managed to boost their team batting average by 13 points in a week, as it was 285 on July 25th and 298 after August 1st. These weren't the only 20 plus run outbursts by the Hawks against the Blue Wave either. They also won 21 to 11 on June 17th and 20 to 11 on September 14th. Daye scored over 20 runs four times and double digit runs on nine occasions against Oryx that season. Throughout 2003, the two sides met 28 times, and the Blue Wave actually managed to win 11 of those iterations, as the Hawks went 17 and 11 against them. But the run differential is where the disparity really stands out, as the Hawks scored 242 runs, averaging 8.64 a game. That's almost a run an inning. The Blue Wave scored a respectable but not nearly as impressive 140 runs, at an average of 5 per game. That's a 102 run differential in just 28 games. Although, to be fair to Oryx, half of those runs came in just three games. Daesung Koo and Daisuke Kato deserve huge credit because they combined to shut out the Hawks on July 8th. That game was definitely a bright spot for the Oryx pitching staff in midst of all the beatdowns. According to Pythagorean Expectation, a formula created by Bill James, the Hawks should have went 21-7 against the Blue Wave that year, so Oryx actually outperformed their expectations by 4 wins. Using that same formula, we can determine that if the Hawks were lucky enough to get to play the Blue Wave in every single game of the season that year, they would have scored over 1,200 runs and won over 100 games. So that's the story of how the Daye Hawks completely bullied the Oryx Blue Wave. It's safe to say the 2003 Oryx Blue Wave players probably never want to think about the Daye Hawks ever again. It's what nightmares are made of. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more MPB content in English.